Hey, what's going on guys? PSV here and welcome to a video of me showing you how to set up a Logitech G27 uh, with city car driving. So, first of all, what you want to do is go onto profile and select what profile that you're going to be selecting it on. I'm going to be using this profile because this is what I've already got it set on. So we'll go down to settings and as you can see here, we have some settings. Okay, this is how I like to have mine you can click around and change these at any point graphics I have them as that sound that and here we get into the uh, important controls so first of all you can see it's on keyboard so simply all you've got to do is double click this and then press the accelerator on the G27 you only have about three seconds to do it so what you want to do is double click that and push your foot right so I'll do it push your foot right down on the accelerator till it picks it up you want to do that for each one of these so the brake you press the brake right down till it picks it up and the clutch you repeat the same method look left and right I have set these buttons on the steering wheel the two middle on the left hand side to look left and the right hand side to look right so also here the gears what you want to do you want to so for example gear one you want to put it in gear one gear 2, gear 3, gear 4, gear 5, gear 6 neutral is just here and reverse you push down you push down put it to the right and then down and that's in reverse you want to make sure automatic clutch is unticked because obviously you've got the clutch with G77 so you're going to be using that and the other stuff is just all basic like you set all these programmable programmable keys on example the gear and the steering wheel to what you like I like to have my flappy paddles as my indicator so the left one is go left indicator and right to go right so that's pretty damn simple you can as long as you've got that I'll see it should break obviously like your accelerator braking clutch and then all the rest is down to you how you would like to have it over here this is how I like to have my steering steering wheel sensitivity so I have it probably like an inch and a bit if not just an inch um, from the minus and then I have the wheel return speed up a bit more so just below the R on the steering okay so next what you want to do is click down on where it says keyboard click that and now you want to go down to general and this is what mine looks like this is how I like to drive my game you can fiddle around with these any point but this is what a lot of people use their G27 method as so simply you just click and drag it to move it all around and uh, yeah like you click and drag it just move it around and that's pretty much it clutch pedal dead zone you want to click on the steering wheel I have mine there and there and the Logitech will see G10 says steering wheel and we're back to where we are the mouse you don't want to really worry about that and you can copy them if you want but they're the two that I show you the keyboard and the general are the main ones you need to worry about so the thing that you need to remember is obviously double click that press down the pedal that you would like for it to set and you only have about three seconds to do it so you've got to be quite quick at it so I hope this kind of helped you a little bit. Um, look out for some city car driving. I hope you uh, please leave it a thumbs up if this did help. If you have got any questions at all, even if it, you think it's, oh, it's a bit of a silly question to ask, ask it and I'll try my best to help you out. So that's it basically. That's as simple as it gets. Or shall I say, that's as hard as it gets. And I hope it, like I said, I hope it helped you out. Please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Cheers, guys.